One of the best tips that I can give people is how to saddle your horse correctly. Not only for the purpose of the fact that a horse uh, needs you to saddle it correctly for fitting wise, but you need to also make sure that uh, the horse is responding accordingly. You need to make sure that your horse is not dancing around, moving around. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tips that are really gonna help you if your horse does any of those things. So first thing is when you have your saddle and pad ready, make sure that you can uh, throw this saddle pad right over top of them and they don't move and the horse is pretty comfortable about it. If your horse is already dancing around at this point, if you have a horse that dances around, that is, if they're dancing around and moving all over, don't go to the saddling part just yet. Stick here with the saddle pad, make sure that you can throw the saddle pad over the horse's back several times, tap around on it and the horse is comfortable. If you need to, do it on both sides. Make sure that the horse is comfortable on both sides. Now this horse is completely comfortable with the saddle pad. We don't need to do any more of that. So if your horse is standing perfectly, throw it over once, move on to the saddle. Now, notice here that I have the lead rope in my hand here. You can, a lot of people use tie, you know, tie your horse up or they uh, use cross ties. Those are all perfectly fine to use, except when your horse is dancing all around. It's much better to teach your horse to stand completely tied first with nothing holding them still and then go to the cross ties or go to tying them to a wall. Okay, so if you have that issue, uncross tie them, untie them from the wall, hold them here on a loose rein or even better yet, ground tie them. Throw it on the ground and let it just sit there because you can have the ability to grab them if need be, but they're not constrained and not being forced to stand still. So teaching them to stand without that is important first. Now, let's get the saddle ready. Let's throw the cinches over top. Now, as I do this, <clears throat> we wanna make sure that we do it in one flowing motion. Now, sometimes I know some people can't lift the saddle over the ho uh, horse's back and there's like this and they're trying to, you know, just push it on. But we wanna make sure that we're gonna throw this over in one flowing motion. As we do this, a lot of times I see an issue with people as they're uh, putting their saddle on, they don't pick the front end of the pad up enough. And if you put it too far down onto the horse's withers and that pressure down, it can actually rub sores over top of their withers, okay? So I use one of the CSI saddle pads, which actually helps with that because the front of the pad actually raises up uh, in front so that problem doesn't actually happen, okay? So when I put the saddle on, the first thing I'm looking for is I'm looking for the saddle to be even. Everybody always asks, where do you place the saddle on a horse? And here's just a really good tip that makes it easy, okay, for you to figure out. If I'm looking at the saddle from the side view like I am right now, I wanna see the saddle completely even on the horse's back, completely level, I should say, okay? So completely level, if the front end is up too much, then I've got the saddle too far forward. If the front end is down, I've got the saddle too far back, okay? So I'm looking for the saddle to be completely even. Make sure that your horse is standing up, by the way. There we go. She was kind of sitting there relaxed with her back foot, okay? So when I'm looking at it, I'm looking for the saddle to be completely even. Now I'm gonna go around on this side and I'm going to bring down my girth. Bring everything down, get it ready get it fitting to her. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for this middle of the girth right here, or the cinch, to be right in the middle of her legs when I tighten it up. So there's a good spot it looks like so far for me. And I wanna make sure that my back cinch is, is in where it's supposed to be here. Excellent. I want everything even. If it's not even and I'm one side too high or one side uh, too low on the cinch, what's going to happen is it's just going to put even placement on the horse's uh, belly and back ultimately. So you need to make sure that it's sitting correctly. I like to throw the horn up over top of, or I'm sorry, the, the stirrup over the top of the horn. And then what I'm going to do, this is where the dancing usually starts, when you start putting the girth on the horse. Now, when you do this, okay, if your horse starts dancing, take the cinch here, and what they're doing is they're just anticipating. They know that this uncomfortable feeling is about to happen. 
So what you need to do is you're going to take the cinch and you're going to just ever so lightly tighten it. See how she's moving? What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till she stops moving and then release the cinch. Okay, so I'm not actually tightening it up just yet, but I'm going to tighten it, hold it. When she doesn't move, release. Tighten it, hold it. When she doesn't move, release. This key element right here will fix a dancing horse. Okay, all you have to do, if they dance, wait. Hold it here, wait until they stop. Thank you. Wait until they stop and then release. Now, let's go ahead and, she's not moving. So let's go ahead and get the girth ready. I'm gonna go one, around once. Now notice I say the, the word girth. I'm making sure that I'm appealing to both our English crowd and our Western crowd uh, watching the video because whether you're doing it with a Western saddle or an English saddle, it's all the same principle, okay? But when I'm doing it with the Western, let me see if I can bring her up here so you guys can see. Come here, come here, honey. What I'm doing with the Western saddle here is I like to only loop it twice, okay? This is something that's really important. I like to only loop it twice, so that way it's gonna be a clean, narrow, smooth feel onto the horse and my knee's not gonna touch it. A lot of times when people take the latigo and they wrap it around, you know, five, six times, you have this big ball right here at your knee and it's very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna loop it around twice, but so this first time around, I'm gonna be ready and I'm gonna say, okay, now she should be, we need to get her ready because I'm going to tighten that up. I'm gonna take one last check. She didn't move, fantastic. I don't tighten it up just yet until I have everything ready and in place. Now, when I go to tighten it up, I like to take the bottom part here and I like to pull down on that part and I like to pull up uh, on this part of the latigo here, okay? So, when I pull down and up, it's as smooth as possible. All right, and she doesn't move. Now notice right here, I got it just to a point that it's tight enough for the saddle to stay on. I like to tighten it up about three times, okay? When I tighten it up those three times, it's very uh, smooth and easy, and just enough again for the saddle to stay on. Now I go ahead and put this um, right up top here where the cinch strap goes. Now, one of the things that you need to make sure of is that uh, I don't like to do the knot. I call it the trail rider's knot. Uh, and the reason I call it trail rider's knot because I seem to find that most trail riders just do that knot. Most of the time, they feel that the knot is better for them because they say it'll never come undone. And people think that it can come undone here by using the hook. Let me tell you why that won't happen. So I'll back up here a step. Most of the time that people feel that way is because they never lock the hook into place. If you notice here, and I know it might be hard from your angle, but if this if this piece right here is far away from the top of the cinch here, then it's not locked in. And absolutely, it could come out. Not a problem like that. However, if you pull this back and down, I lock that piece in, it'll never come out. And you'll never have to do that silly little knot again because this will be locked in place all the time. And you never have to worry about it hitting your knee or being uncomfortable. Okay, so then I set it here just like this. I put my stirrup down and I get the back cinch ready and I put this on just at a nice taut place just like that. And the saddle is ready and you've made it easy and comfortable on your horse and they're ready to ride and in a good frame of mind.